About six months ago we had storms that brought down a lot of trees and blocked us in. I chopped the trees into small pieces with the chainsaw. A bit of time has passed and I've set up my drying rack. So I went round and I collected up all of the small pieces of timber and I stacked them up on top of the drying rack. They're not dry enough for burning but storing them above the ground with the wind blowing through them will dry them out much quicker. There are lots of videos showing people sharpening their own chainsaw. Well I don't actually have time to do that so I'll show you how I get mine done. I take mine to the chainsaw shop and this is what they do. Just 30 degree. Yeah. And basically <clears throat> that comes down on it. You just this knob at the top, you set your depth, but you don't want to get too deep. You miss it, pushes you too for long, so yeah. you know how much you're gonna take off it. Just take off a little bit there. Yeah. Or we'll take off as much as needed. Then you go along and then you, you do your next tooth and you just keep going and going until you've done one side then you swap it. You don't wanna you don't wanna push down too hard on it, you see how I was bouncing it? Yeah. It just stops it from getting hot hot. Then with a screwdriver, because it puts a little burr on it, you just flick it over and knock that burr off. And that's it. And you just go along and do each tooth. You probably just need a little bit more off it. And that's it, very straightforward. But that's a really important thing, just knocking that burr off. But you leave it on there, as soon as you touch the wood, the burr will fall into the tooth. Yeah. Blunt the chain straight away. And that's it, once you get the hang of it, it's uh, pretty easy. So here I am trying to put my chain on before I got shown how to unroll them properly. Whilst you wouldn't believe it, I'm trying to make this look easy and like I know what I'm doing. Sorry about the camera angle as well. There is a reason for me showing you doing this very badly. In a minute I'll show you how it's meant to be done. Pick it up, do whatever. Now it's all tangled. Yeah. So you got you got a link there, link, link there. So basically when it's like that, it's twisted. Yeah. You just grab them links, flip it over like that, and it'll fall down. So if I do that again, yeah. twist it up real bad, so you get your chain out here like that. Pick it up, just go around, right, grab two links like that. And if, as soon as you got two left, you put them beside each other, grab them both hands, and just pull it out a bit wider, so you got it, and then just drop the chain out like that. That's it. Brilliant. Yeah. Awesome. There are probably quite a few of you that haven't encountered my cantilever sawhorse. I built the sawhorse out of materials I scrounged. The teeth on the sawhorse expand to take logs of any size. I'm basically only limited by the size of logs that I can physically pick up. The cantilever holds the logs in a really nice position for sawing. I just stack them up in the boxes behind me under cover. Keeping up with the firewood demand is a fairly relentless task, but it does keep me fit. Well the drying rack's full, so I'll be using this in a year or so. 
There's a lot of work with having a log fired heating system, but sitting in the evening with the log fire burning is very pleasant. Press subscribe to follow more of our adventures and please press the like button if you enjoyed this video, it helps the channel. For more information about the ebooks, please visit my website at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com.